What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. That's right you guys, and don't snap. It's gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back, and happy Sunday. So very happy to be back. If you haven't seen uh, the Wolf Skull Manor uh, mod showcase, uh, kind of detailing in the beginning where I've been, what's been going on, everything like that, take a look at that. It happens within the first minute, so if you want some information on that so I don't have to repeat myself, check that out there. But today, Today we're jumping right back into Skyrim in the wonderful hold of Markarth, taking a look at the Ivy Temple. Now the Ivy Temple is a home based out of a uh, extra dimensional home. So it's from the same mod author who's done the other extra dimensional homes, Mentha. And they've done such great work with a lot of their dimensional homes, as well as some of the homes placed here in Skyrim. Now, the Ivy Temple can be found in the box inside of the Temple of Debella. You probably saw her lovely little knockers hanging out there at the beginning of the uh, the showcase, but uh, we're gonna, uh, for demonetization purposes, we'll get that on screen. But um, here in Markarth, we're here, right here in Markarth, in the Temple of Debella. The Temple of Debella is where you're going to want to find it. It's up towards where the, where the Understone Keep is at. It's also near the Jarl's house uh, and a whole bunch of other places like that. It's kind of difficult to find, but once you find it, you just run straight through from the front door. The front door is actually right over there. And you pick up the box. Now, when you pick up the Ivy Temple box, you go into your potions of all places and you click Ivy Temple. Now, when you click Ivy Temple, you consume the Ivy Temple for some reason. Um, and then you gain 25 points of health. So if you're in kind of a pinch, you can actually just kind of take that, teleport back to your house, and you're good to go. Now, I will say this here at the beginning of the mod showcase, this home will not be for everybody. Uh, the dimensional homes, the extra dimensional homes, really are for a specific person who wants a house on the go. Um, they're not going to be probably one for your main house, but they definitely have all the bells and whistles of a, a big castle, you know, a nice manor, anything like that, just with a little bit more flash. So here we are inside of the Ivy Temple. Now, we're inside of the box, excuse me, we're inside of the box, and you can already see one of the main draws to this house is the overgrow is the overgrowth. Now the overgrowth can be a little bit overbearing at times when you when you look at it dead on, but if you just take it piece by piece, it's really kind of a nice little area. Not to mention it's laid out in a perfect little box. So in typical Ryan team fashion, let's break this down, shall we? So here in the middle, in, in the middle, good one. In the middle, we have a nice little grassy pasture with a temp with a uh, statue of Debella. But let's go ahead and come over here, and we'll stick to the roads a little bit, if, if you can say that. Nice little seating area right here. And then, what do we have over here? Hello. Ooh, this is a teleportation map. So we've got Markarth, we've got Carthwaston, Rorikstead, so we have all the little towns and everything like that. That's kind of cool. Travel to Solitude, I love how that one's golden, that one's kind of cool. And then return to where you came from. So I imagine that is the return button. That's to get out of the box and you'll be bestowed another box, which is nice. And then, of course, there's an amulet of Debella right there with a couple of loose potions. And then let's see what do we have here. There's a little apiary inside of a, a little thing right there with bees buzzing around. That's kind of cool. Nice little dinner table set for two, just kind of to snack on, you know, some pastries. Uh, for some reason, just an entire grilled chicken breast, you know, it's what you do. Got some stuff right here. And then let's continue to move along here. I love all the overgrowth. It's super cool. It's just, it gives it that kind of in the forest feel. You know, kind of, the, it, it, it reminds me of something you'd see in Wizard of Oz or something like that. But let's see, what do we have over here? We got a bunch of those snow globe type things. Let's see, what do we got? So we've got miscellaneous storage, heavy armor. Okay, so they're on little storage areas right here. Heavy armor, unarmored, that's kind of cool. Jewelry, light armor and weapons. That's an interesting way of displaying things. And then gemstones. That's kind of a cool thing right there. I wish it filled up over time, but I don't think that's how it would be. A nice little goat friend. Hi, buddy. I hear hooves somewhere, but I don't know where they're at. Um, and then leathers and pelts, ores right there, ingots right there, and scrolls right there. So this must be smithing. Oh, it's this! I keep forgetting Mentha, they do so. They do something so cool. They put all the crafting stuff inside of these snow globes. So you have the alchemy lab, the anvil, the cooking spit, oven, workbench, grindstone, smelter, staff enchanter, and tanning rack. But you don't teleport to them, you just use them. So it's like you have every single workbench you could ever need, literally within arm's reach. Which is kind of cool to see. We've got potions and poison storage right there. A little wardrobe to store some excess stuff. Whatever you can't store. Soul gem storage, heartstone storage, staff storage. Very, very cool. And let's see what else do we have through here. I saw a little bunny rabbit over here. Hi, big guy. What's your name? Your name shall be Jimothy. 
And then we got a nice big dinner table here set for probably six people. You could probably fit six butts on there. Nice solid gold um, cutlery and uh, plates and candelabras and stuff like that. A little bit uh, of an excess. And there's a random fork. A random gold fork. Wait, how much did that sell for? 50? Hot damn! There's another one right there. I'll be taking all of that. That's a quick 100 gold. Very nice to see. But we got some food stuff storage right here. I love all the little vines hanging down to the ivy. Super cool. And then what do we have over here? Does this work or is this just for show? That looks like it's just for show. But even still, some of the static decor in here is a nice touch. It's kind of cool. Now keep in mind, there is also a second floor up there too. So let's see. What else is here on the first floor? It looks like this might be one of the bedrooms. Yes, this is probably the master bedroom if I had to guess, based on the size of the bed. But we've got a whole bunch of loose materials right here. Very cool to see. I'll be taking all that. A gigantic shrine to Debella. Wardrobe right there that does indeed work. And another wardrobe right there. Very cool to see. Nice little lockbox right there, just in case you need to store, you know, some extra stuff. Maybe some extra money and stuff like that. But let's see what's up here. Got some bookcases for the bookworms of Skyrim, because I know we got quite a few watching. Another little seating area right here with a lot of cheese. Fit for Shea Gorath. More bookcases right there. I know they're not the ones that a lot of people like, but they're still cool to have just in case. And we got some more seating areas along here. Alcohol storage. Lots of alcohol storage. Look at that. More seating areas along here. A uh, little guest bedroom, it seems. I imagine you can take your followers with you. It could also be children, but I don't know how you'd stuff them in the Ivy Temple and keep them in there. I'm not exactly sure how that would work. Perhaps if the followers come with you, you could use it that way. But um, I don't foresee you being able to keep your follower in your pocket just in case. And then last but not least, it seems there's one more corner over here. But it looks like there's nothing over here. So... I do believe that's everything that this home has to offer. And as far as being able to use it, you know, as far as being able to uh, to utilize it for something that I would need, I think I'd probably use one of the other mobile homes that uh, that is out there on the market. I know I sound like a real estate agent, but I'd probably use one of the other homes out there on the market. Does it have an appeal to somebody? Absolutely. Is that somebody me? Not necessarily. But I gotta say, it's a neat little area, a lot of cool ambiance there, very cool little spot to be in and hang out, looks like my controller battery is about to die. But with that being said, let me know guys down there in the comment section, would you like it, or did you like it, uh, would you use it, did you like it, did you hate it, let me know down there in the comment section and let's have a discussion about it. Great to be back guys, hopefully we'll be back on schedule for videos and streaming, and with that being said guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.